It was war unleashed upon the people of Uganda. Violent action against the junta who has politically, who have politically robbed the people of Uganda of their right to be governed by people of their own choice. One was never a democratic process. It was war unleashed upon the people of Uganda by Mr. Museveni, who was meant to protect them. And therefore, it is common knowledge to everybody who accessed the products of your cameras that the people of Uganda, Museveni, was at war with the people of Uganda. We as the FDC sponsored the presidential and other candidates in this particular contest, not because we believed we would win and be handed over power, declared and handed over power, because this was never going to happen under the kind of dictatorship that we attempt to play our politics. And therefore, the outcome of this election, the announcement, which we know was an allocation of results for different, to different candidates, is something that we have already stated as a sham. We categorize this particular election as a fallacy and something that we would not accept as legitimate. And therefore, whatever Mr. Museveni wants to do, even in his wildest imagination, will not be accepted by the FDC. Now, the FDC was very deliberate about what it wanted to do in light of the sham election. First of all, to object to the outcome of the election, but secondly, not to repeat what we have done before. And so it shouldn't surprise anybody that whereas our friends have gone to court and we support them in the action, we chose as the FDC not to pursue that line because we've been there before. And therefore, to us, the only other alternative left is to pursue nonviolent action against the junta who has politically, who have politically robbed the people of Uganda of their right to be governed by people of their own choice. And therefore, for we will be going in this struggle in association with the people's government. I believe it is also our duty to call on the other pro-democracy actors to be part of this campaign. And also to stress to the population that in doing this, we do not do anything illegal because we are commanded under Article 3 to do whatever it takes to ensure that people who subvert the will of the, the population, of the citizens, those who overturn, abrogate our constitution, are dealt with by the citizens of Uganda. And this is really our clarion call to the people of Uganda and particularly, I speak to my members spread all over the country to be part of this struggle. I speak to our networks all over the country, being a national party that has got networks everywhere. Our leaders, 
power turn that we deliberately put in place to come to play in this kind of circumstances to be part of this struggle. I have heard people talking about 2026, even before 2016 has been resolved. Now we have a new situation in our hands of 2021 and resolved. For how long will Ugandans continue piling unresolved political cases without tackling them head on? And I believe this is the call that we make today to everybody, Ugandan citizens and foreigners alike. And on Thursday, we will be talking to the European Union representatives in this country, those representative, representing EU countries, on Thursday next week. We did speak with them prior to the election. We said to them they were not doing enough to ensure that the dictator is brought to his knees. They thought that one more election would probably help us to be proved wrong, but it hasn't. Because in the election of 2021, the presidential, the only constant person who has been in every election since Mr. Museveni came to power is Mr. Museveni himself. In, in fact, before he came to power, has been Museveni himself. All the other 10 candidates we are new in the political scene in as far as pursuing the presidency of this country is concerned. What this party election has helped us to do is to prove wrong even the very optimistic people, players who thought that this election could bring change. Some people thought Dr. Kizabeske was an obstacle to bringing change to this country. He calmly said to them, there is the way. Follow that road. Go and exercise your right. In fact, he's been the biggest solution to this. In hammering home his experiences and saying to us, this is not going to work. So 2021, has been a lesson to those who thought there were some people standing on their way, who thought democracy